everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Now we haven't made one of these in a while because we've actually ran out of ideas for NetBeans, but a YouTube subscriber posted on one of our older videos and they wanted to know how to create a fancy splash screen in NetBeans. So this user was mindone 6 and I'll just post the uh, the comment on screen so you guys can see what they asked for. And yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to create a splash screen and if we have time I'll show you guys how we can actually animate it. So let's click on this play button. As you can see, this is what Daniil has created. And sorry I did that. So let's click on this play button. And as you can see, this is a simple splash screen that loads up for five seconds. And then loads into your actual program, which in this case is a uh, football app or soccer app. Okay, so we firstly want to open up Photoshop. So let's just not notepad. Let's get up Photoshop, and there we go. Okay, so I'm using Photoshop CS6, doesn't matter what you guys are using. Let's go to File, New, and then create a custom uh, page custom, and then select the width as 500 and the height as 500, and select the background content as transparent, and click on OK. And we have this checkerboard background, which is actually transparent, it's not actually there. So let's actually create the uh, this circle. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to this hand icon and just above it is a tool and if you right click on it we want to select the ellipse tool and now just click and drag. So I'm just going to click and drag and as you can see it's very difficult to get the correct shape. So if you hold on alt and then shift at the same time you can see that we can create a perfect circle. So let's just expand this and uh, that's a common error that I have. You just have to hold it down and then let go of your mouse first. So there we go. And then use the move tool and just move this about around a bit. Okay, so now we want to actually create this, um, you know, the little border, the thickness of the circle. So let's click on this tool again, and as you can see, it brought up the option. So let's select the stroke and then a white color, or you can go blue or whatever color that you guys like. So let's just select white, and then we need to adjust the thickness of the stroke. So just Put up to about 33, 35, 34 is fine. And as you can see, we already have this outline. Now, as I said, I think uh, we're not going to be doing the drop shadow because this is going to be a GIF, and uh, GIF sometimes ignores the transparency. So that's why we're going to, uh, sorry, GIF ignores the opacity because this uh, drop shadow, I guess, uh, basically fades out and it has transparency to it. So sometimes it renders it out as pure black which is not what we want so we have this done now we want to create the trademark logo so basically the same steps once again alt shift and then just draw that looks okay and just move this around somewhere about here maybe now, as you can see it looks like it's filled and uh, it's actually not it's because the stroke is just really big so we want to select the ellipse 2 Go down to our tool that we used, the ellipse tool, and then select the stroke size. So maybe something like 5 or 4, a little bigger than that, 4.96 or 5. That looks pretty good. So we first need to create a new layer. So let's go down to the bottom, click on the page that has a folded corner, and we've created a new layer. So let's just zoom in, press T on a keyboard, and then just type in TM. Then obviously you guys can adjust the size. So I'm going to try out 32. And well done, Photoshop. Let's try this again. Um, yeah, Photoshop, guys. GM. Okay, let's try this again. So we're going to type in 32, and that looks okay. Just move this around a bit. Now I'm trying to go through this a bit quicker because I've already done this tutorial. Um, a bit earlier, I've done it twice actually, and it was just too long, so I do apologize. Now that we have the TM done, you can see it's matching up quite nicely, except we don't have the drop shadow. Let's create the text in the middle. So let's create a new layer, press T on your keyboard, and then select the size about 86, and then you can just type in whatever you want. So my name is Project Jarvis, well the name of the app that I would like to show you guys is Project Jarvis. Uh, you guys can just move this around a bit. That looks good. And then let's create a new layer. And then create the second part of the text. So, 
move that around. You guys can do a better job, of course, because um, you have more time than I do. Okay, so there we go. Let's just uh, move this around a bit, just so that we can get a, a decent position for it. And that looks okay. So let's go to File, Save As, save it to our desktop as a PNG with no compression. And there you go, you can see it's popped up and you cannot actually see anything because it's uh, it's white and it's a bit difficult to see but you can see it on the thumbnail. Okay. So, okay, so let's create an animation. Now, I think what we'll do is let's make this a bit smaller, size 30. As you can see it's really small. And what we'll do is we'll save this as image number one. So save it as a PNG image number one. None. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight just the J and let's put this up to 86, the, the big size, our initial size. Now you can see we have a capital J. So let's save this as image number two. As a PNG, make sure they're all PNGs because we want transparency. Let's do the same thing for the A. So let's put this up to uh, size 86. And it's basically going from small text to larger text for each one of the letters of the word. Say this is image 3. Okay, and then you guys can just basically do, uh, do it for the rest of them. So I'm just going to skip ahead. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I'm done. All seven images. Let's remove image 1. Okay, and now we can see how this would look. If this was a um, this was a GIF. That looks pretty good for now. So now we're going to go to a website called MySpace Gens. Uh, let's just bring this in here. So let's just type in MySpaceGens.com and select the animated GIF maker or GIF maker. Um, select the size as leave original sizes. Select the speed to let's say. 100 milliseconds and then add all of our images from 1 to 7 click on upload and let's wait for it to upload okay it's finished upload of files let us click on submit actually let's adjust the timings first so let's have this one set to about 50 milliseconds and the rest as 100 and let's say the last one as uh, let's say 2000 for 2 seconds so right now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 seconds, so it's going to be 2.55 seconds for the entire animation. So let's submit that. It shouldn't take too long. You guys can play Simon Says while you wait. You probably won't get that far because it only takes a few seconds to create the GIF. And it is done. So you can see a preview of your GIF first. And if you want to go back and edit it, you guys can. But I think that this looks quite okay. So let us download the GIF. Now keep in mind that you might experience a, a loss of quality. Um, as you guys can see, you can see the uh, the letters are not as sharp as they were. But that is okay. Uh, let me just get this out of our folder. And there we go. And you can delete all the other files that you've created. So empty the recycle bin. And then just let's rename this to Splash and splash is fine and make sure that it's a GIF so properties and it's a GIF image so okay so let's close that website and we can also close Photoshop you guys can save the PST if you want now let's open up NetBeans and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new app so file new project Java application and just name this splash screen test or anything that you guys want and there we go. Okay, so I don't really like the color of this uh, this white. It's kind of hurting my eyes. So I'm not going to maximize this window. So let's create a new Java package. I just named my app package. Put in the splash screen right there. Create a new JFrame form. So right click new JFrame form, and then just name this start GUI. Click on finish. And you guys can do whatever you want with this. Um, I'm just going to keep it blank, except I'm going to make it show up in the center. So this is just basic code. If you guys don't know what I'm doing, I suggest following the NetBeans beginner tutorial. If I run the project, okay, there we go. 
Um, so that should be fine. Let's just change the theme to Windows. Now, I'm not going to go over what, what I'm doing now because this is a tutorial on creating a splash screen. So I do expect you guys to have some knowledge of NetBeans. So, okay, there we go. That should be good enough for now. So we have our splash.gif image. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to our package name. Um, not our package name, our actual project name. So right click on our project name, go down to branch of properties, and you want to go down to run. So in the VM options we have to type a little bit of code. So we're going to put a hyphen, splash, and then src, basically going to select the directory that it's in. So src slash um, your package name, so in our case it's called app package, slash the name of the splash image, so it's called splash gif make sure you put the extension at the end if you guys are using just a plain image like a png or jpeg make sure you put dot png or dot jpg click on ok and now that that's done we have to navigate to our files so all we do is go to our files tab look for our project name and look for the manifest.mf so let's double click on this and it should open up now what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the next line and we're going to type in splash screen and then hyphen image. Make sure you guys type it exactly how I'm typing it. Put a double dot or whatever it's called. And then you want to type in our package name. So our package name is called app package slash. Our package name is called app package uh, slash and then the name of your image. So our one is called splash.gif and that should be it so let's just save that now if I run this you guys saw it popped up for a really short amount of time so let's do that again you can see it didn't have much time to load so we're going to create a delay so let's open up our main GUI or the GUI that starts up first go into the source code and we're going to go down to the public void run part of our code now as you guys know Java reads from top to bottom so before we open up the GUI we're just going to leave a few spaces and this is where we're going to type out our code so we're going to type in try and then thread.sleep because we're going to make the thread sleep for a few seconds so let's say 4500 milliseconds which is 4.5 seconds and as you guys know you have to have a cap so I'm just going to put an exception E now this will most you know almost never fail so you guys don't have to worry about putting exception handling and stuff so this should keep up our GIF for 4.5 seconds as you can see it's currently loading and that is what our animated GUI or animated splash screen looks like now I know that's a bit difficult to see so I'm just gonna open up our manifest file because it is grey and there you go, you can see our fancy splash screen image. You can see there is a reduced quality on the GIF, uh, which is a bit unfortunate, but I'm sure some of you more skilled uh, Photoshop artists can actually uh, make a workaround for that. So that's just basically a simple way to create a splash screen using NetBeans. Now, if you guys did like the tutorial, please do leave us a comment, like, subscribe. Um, if you haven't checked out our new website, please do. It's techniqueindustries.com. I'll put the link in the description. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. So thanks for watching. Oh, and if you guys have any suggestions for new tutorials, please do leave them in the comments. Or you guys can contact us using the contact form on our website. So all ideas are open, whether it be coding, NetBeans, uh, graphics, pretty much anything. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys.